So now let us look at the global perspectives about old age. Friends, in India, we have traditionally been a community and a society who has respected the elderly. We always seek their advice. We consider them as the head of our family. I would like you all to comment what is the attitude towards elderly in your own country? Research studies and the general information says that the Chinese people also treat their elderly very well. They seem to take care of their old age parents. Also, Korean families have big celebrations to mark the 60th and 70th birthdays. The African American community is also a community which has which is seen to respect and value age and life both. I would like to draw your attention on the population characteristics of old age. So generally it is classified into three parts. One, the young old population, which is between 65 to 75 years of age, then old, old population, that is 75 years to 84 years, and above for 85 is called as old, old age. Now, there are differences in research studies in these three age groups also, which we will talk about in some other session. But the interesting part is, that now old age has shifted from 60 to 65 because of better living conditions, healthcare advances. And one more thought is um, emerging in the world that why should we call anyone old or young on the basis of their chronological age? Because we see that typically Typicality is absent in studies and researches related to geriatrics. So if we say that, you know, 70 year age person will have such characteristics or they will suffer from such diseases, it is not true. A 70 year old differs from another 70, 70 year old, absolutely. And so he may be mentally or physically in perfect health, while another 70 year old person might not be so. So the research is not being able to bring about any conclusive evidence about typicality related to it. And that's why there is this thought that why should we not have, you know, direct link on individual characteristics of people rather than categorizing them into age groups. One more thing that we should look at is India's population is now 6% of our population is 65 years and above. And we are not the oldest population yet. The young people outnumber us uh, uh, in the old age criteria, but the report says that we might uh, be tripling this trend in another 30 years or so. And such is the trend in the world itself. And one of the reasons being quoted is that fertility rates are decreasing and also the choices of having a child is now much more customized and lies with the young couple. And so many people are now not choosing to have children. And so the young population is going to decline and the old age population is going to increase all over the world. And by uh, 2050, it is expected or it is projected that we will have nearly 400 million old age people all over the world. In India, we are also seeing an improvement in life expectancy. And so in 1969, we could say that only a person in India would only live up to 47 years of age. 
which grew to 60 years of life expectancy in 1994. And now in 2019 and onwards, we are seeing that the life expectancy has increased to 69 years. So this being a good news, but is life living long is enough? We are going to discuss this further. <laughs> 